Hello there YouTube, my name is Chuggy and today I am playing some Battlefield 3, playing some Rush on Operation Metro. And today guys, I've got some pointers for the crossbow. You see what I did there? I'm hilarious. No I'm not. Uh, and today guys, uh, I have some general tips and advice for you for using the crossbow, which has just been released obviously with Battlefield 3 Aftermath. Now, if you recall my last sort of video about Aftermath, uh, I was talking about how basically the crossbow should be treated as a sniper rifle which fires a knife. And now that I've unlocked all the various bolts and things that you can get for the crossbow, I'll be talking through the strengths and weaknesses of each, how to use the crossbow in general, and uh, in general just to how to accommodate the crossbow into your, your playstyle, um, depending on what you're doing. So the first thing I'll say straight away is don't feel the need to use the crossbow at all times. It's not a primary weapon. As I've said before, it's a gadget. It takes up your gadget slot, apart from the support, which it does go in the C4 uh, mortar slot there. So you do keep the ammo bags, which is nice. But um, no, this is a gadget item. It's not a primary. So the first piece of advice I can give you is don't try and use it as a primary, because I can guarantee you, you won't be able to win many fights, let me put it like that, with this thing. The crossbow is best used when you have the enemy unaware, I would say. Uh, the It is a one-shot kill, up to 15. I've seen some people say 20, 25 meters. Um, I haven't been able to measure that, but um, you need to get that shot first, basically, and you need to make it count. Even if it only hits the guy uh, and doesn't kill him, you've got to make sure that you get that shot away cleanly so you can then get into cover, whatever else, to rearm your crossbow or, you better still, switch to your primary or your secondary. So the thing, uh, the thing I found really useful with the crossbow is it's allowed me to quote-unquote knife people at range. And when I play recon, that can be very, very useful. As you guys will know, I play recon a lot, and my, the style I play of recon is not quite fully aggressive, but it's pretty up there. So often I will find myself toe-to-toe -to -toe almost sometimes with the enemy. And using a sniper rifle, point-blank, really is not the best way to do it. Pistol would be better, but even better still, do it without noise. That would be your knife. The crossbow gives me that bit of flexibility that I can actually shoot someone from 10 or so meters and put them down silently. And yes, the crossbow is a silent weapon, so you won't come up on the minimap while you do it. But however, one thing to bear in mind, of course, and this is true of all weapons, silenced or not, um, that obviously when you kill someone, they come up on the map as sort of a skull and crossbones or a thunderbolt, whatever, to the assault guys. So do bear in mind that obviously when you kill someone, you will be giving yourself away somewhat. Anyway, I digress. That's just a sort of more general point. But anyway, the crossbow can be very, very useful. And you'll see a little bit later on, I'm running down into the uh, the train station. I hear someone running by, sort of the other direction. I come out, I knife him, I must admit. A bit lucky, there was a bit of lag involved. And uh, there was a bit of a sort of commando lunge going on. Um, but then I hear another guy, and I know that I couldn't get close enough to knife him. And I didn't have, say, the... the uh, pistol or sniper rifle ready to fire, so I went for the crossbow and I was able to put him down. So in the right sort of situation, the right time and place, the crossbow can be very useful, but if there's one thing you take away from this video, don't use it as a primary. For instance, that situation right there, I tried to be cheeky, I tried to get the guy with the crossbow, but to be honest, I think that would have been just out of range for a one-shot kill with a standard bolt. So uh, I went back to the sniper rifle, put him down safely, no problems, no, no problems at all. Um, so yeah, it, the crossbow is a neat tool, by all means, but don't run around with it as your primary weapon. You won't win the f all, all your gunfights, uh, uh, as, as you can probably imagine. But anyway, let's talk about the different types of bolts. So, you have four bolts. You have what I call the standard bolt, the sensor bolt, the explosive bolt, and the balanced bolt. Now, when you unlock the crossbow, and you do that by winning three games of Scavenger, uh, you get the standard bolt. Now, the standard bolt is a standard style of bolt, I guess. Um, as I've said, it's a one-shot kill, anywhere between 15 and 25 meters, or lower, and uh, you need to hit torso and above, basically. If you hit the arms, if you hit the legs, you're going to be in trouble. And here's that little moment right there. I would have been in trouble if I hadn't had the crossbow ready to fire there. Anyway, um, so, yeah, the, the standard bolt is what I would say normally you should be using at all times. Unless you have a particular need for a longer-range bolt or to blow something up, stick with a standard bolt. It does a decent amount of damage, even when it does hit the legs. I've had several sort of 95 plus uh, sort of kill assists thanks to the crossbow, the standard bolt. 
uh, when I haven't killed at one shot range. Um, and basically, I just follow the, the advice I've just given. Use it when you have sort of uh, an enemy sort of unawares or in a situation where you've got the shot already lined up. You just need to pull the trigger. Uh, it's not a weapon where you'll get an easy follow-up shot, as you can imagine. And if you do miss your shot, switch back to your primary or your pistol as quickly as you can to try and finish off the enemy. Because more than likely, if they've got, say, an AEK or an MP7 or something very fast firing, you wouldn't get a second to react. And I think you see that a few times in this video. So, so yeah, the standard bolt, I recommend using at all times unless you have to. One of the other bolts, particular special uses, and let's get onto one of those now, shall we? So the sensor bolt. The sensor bolt is a basically a crossbow bolt which fires a tug's uh, radio sort of beacon. One thing to be aware of though, it only emits the radio sort of beacon uh, sonic noise, whatever it is, um, to spot people on impact. So don't imagine that you can just fire it and it will show everyone up and on the, its path. Only works on when it actually impacts the uh, the floor or the enemy, whatever you aim at. Now it does do some damage to the enemy, although it's very very low, and I'm pretty sure you can't get a one shot kill or even with a headshot with that. I certainly haven't had one anyway. Um, so basically, use that as a purely recon esque tool, just to spot enemies that you may have some suspicion are there or thereabouts, and uh, and go from there. So that's that's the spotting bolt. Very very useful. As a recon, I find it really useful because then I can fire a bolt off into the distance and run towards it and uh, see where the enemies are instead of having to say plant it and then wait for the enemies to come to me so you can be a bit more aggressive which is nice. Now the second sort of specialised bolt is the explosive bolt. This is a bolt which basically is again a crossbow bolt but it has some C4 strap to it and as you can imagine that means explosive damage. Now the splash damage radius for uh, the, uh, the, the C4 bolt is pretty small. If you want to kill someone in one shot, it has to be a direct impact, basically. But the strength of this bolt is when it comes to vehicles. You can really damage vehicles. You can one-shot disable, I think, the Jeeps, the Humvees, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can disable helicopters as well with it. It's a pretty powerful force to be reckoned with. Something to definitely keep your mind on as you're flying around or driving around. But the major drawback of this bolt is that it has basically no flight to travel at all. You can fire it perfectly sort of horizontal and it will only go maybe 5 or 10 meters before it hits the floor. So basically you're going to really have to correct for its quote unquote bolt drop. And uh, I can kind of deal with that to be honest, you know, if you've got a load of plastic explosives on the front of a crossbow bolt, it would not have a normal parabolic flight, whatever, so um, so be, be wary of that and, uh, and yeah, just aim high with the explosive bolt and you can have a lot of fun. And I've had best results with it basically say having a helicopter or a jeep drive by me, to switch to it, fire it from the hip, and actually I should mention this, the crossbow is very good from the hip, very decent, uh, or very low I should say, spread, so you can get away with some cheeky hip shot from uh, time to time, uh, but yeah, fire the, the explosive bolt relatively close range, um, and uh, yeah, take them unawares, and then obviously once the vehicle's disabled, use that sort of brief moment of what just happened to then get up close and personal, shoot them in the vehicle, whatever, more, and uh, success. Lovely times. Um, so anyway, and basically the explosive bolt is the main reason why I'm using the crossbow now exclusively with the recon. I can finally get some vehicles away from me or to think twice before attacking me. Excellent. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Back to bad company too. And the C4 for me. Good. The final bolt uh, is the balance bolt. And this is basically if you your sniping bolt. This bolt has, uh, uh, well, it hardly drops. I mean, put it like that. There's very, it's not really affected particularly much until you get to extreme ranges by bullet drop or bolt drop. Uh, it doesn't do as much damage, I believe I'm right saying, as the standard bolt at close range. However, because it's more tailored for longer range engagements, you'll do more damage over range. So again, I think it needs to be a headshot at very extreme ranges to kill in one shot, um, and I think it's maybe up to 50 or so meters for a one shot kill to the, the torso and above. Correct me if I'm wrong, I've certainly had some one shot kills to that range, but the guy might have been already damaged. Um, so yeah, if you want to do a little more long range work, say you've got the crossbow with the seven times optic uh, equipped, the crossbow sculpt, uh, scoped, um, you'll certainly be able to do some nice sort of sniping-esque uh, crossbow action with that. Again, one other tip actually um, to be aware of uh, with the crossbow is the way that Battlefield 3 works with the projectiles and things, uh, the, the guns and launchers, whatever, fire. It's all modelled, all modelled in 3D space, and the crossbow is no exception. So you will find that you may shoot a bolt at the guy and it doesn't hit, and you kind of go, well, what's happened there? 
That's because, frankly, the bolt hasn't made it. It's a fairly slow old thing compared to a bullet. Uh, so, again, just leave a little bit of extra time, just aim that a little bit further ahead or a little bit higher, and just accommodate for, for the, the speed of the bolt. Now, you will get used to the speed eventually once you've used it for a little bit, um, but again, something to be aware of. So anyway guys, that's all I really had actually about the crossbow. It's a really neat piece of kit once you kind of get out of the habit, which I had when I first had it, of using it as a primary. And once you unlock all the various bits of bolt, uh, all the other bolts and, and such, you find it can be a very versatile tool. You may be perhaps a little worried, oh crikey, this might be a little overpowered if you combine, say, an assault with an anti-tank or anti-vehicle piece of kit, but it's really not. Each of the bolts have its own strengths and weaknesses, which balance themselves nicely. So, a nice piece of kit has definitely been able to adapt my playstyle to it, thankfully, uh, for the recon, and uh, I enjoy using it. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful, and if you have anything you'd like to share yourselves in terms of tips or, or anything like that about the crossbow, please do feel free to do so down in the comments section below. And as always guys, just thank you so very much for watching. If you could leave a like, dislike, whatever you believe this video deserves, that'd be fantastic, and if you want to see some more videos from myself, you can always subscribe. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay, I hope you've enjoyed the commentary, and I'll see you next time out on the battlefield.